Hey, it's Kimmy the Gadget Goddess, and today I am going to remove the screen protectors that were installed by Samsung on the Z Fold 3 and replace them with Hydrogel screen protectors. I already have scratches on the factory screen protector, so I'm ready to let this go completely. Hydrogel protectors are a little more forgiving and they just don't reflect as much. Like y'all can see my ceiling and everything right now. These are always fun, nerve wracking, and just everything at the same time, emotion wise, when shooting these videos because I'm a perfectionist. So I try to get everything as perfect as possible. I ordered this set from Amazon. I have another set coming from overseas that was a bit cheaper. I just got tired of waiting on the overseas set to come. So I spent a little more on the Amazon set than I spent on the overseas set, but I was ready to get rid of this glossy finish. It says one set. So it's all or nothing. It's not a thing where <laughs> I got stuff to fix it if it comes out wrong. And as usual, our sets have one, two, three. We'll do them in that order. That's the inside. And this is the front outside. One, two, three. I know it annoys people that I use my fingernails to remove things. It's just easier than using it. So we're taking one off. Huge ear bubbles. So it's gonna cause a lot of little bubbles, unfortunately. I finally got that last piece off, but look at this. <laughs> I mean, this bubbles galore. I trusted the process the last time. I'm gonna trust the process this time. They did include a back piece. Doesn't make a huge difference because the back is already like a frosted look. But we'll put it on for protection's sake, right? My excitement, I pulled one off already. These aren't like my usual, I will put it that way. I don't like the fact that I'm having to touch the screen protector so much. If you follow my Z Fold videos, I had a Z Fold case journey. It's gonna be the screen protector journey over here. The front side goes completely edge to edge, which has me concerned about cases. But this side seems to leave way more room as if they had prepared for Samsung to do what they did last year and sell cases with no fronts. So it was more protective from the front. I don't know. The screen protector does not want to stay. It didn't want to adhere to the actual phone for some stupid reason. But that looks terrible at this point. I will let you know what these look like tomorrow. Definitely tougher to get off than the first one. I think most of the problem with this protector is that it's edge to edge, like literally, if you look at this, but it's really like too big. comes down to the bottom and I have a big line of extra protector, whereas it's lined up completely at the top. <laughs> I would not suggest this protector for anybody. I have shot the video, so of course I'm gonna upload it. But yeah, this is not the correct size for this phone. I shall still take pictures tomorrow to let you know how the matte comes out, because I'm curious to see how it will come out. 
I am back and unfortunately, screen protector originally installed. I will show you pictures here it was a complete fail. Within 24, 48 hours, the inside was still way too big for the device. Because the skin know me, matte skin was great for my Z Flip. I decided to pick up skin know me for my Z Fold 3. Right now I have this one spot on the front, but the inside looks pretty hideous. Never seen skin know me come in a box like this. So I thought they had shipped me the wrong thing. We're gonna see how all this works. Let's get started. Pretty simple being it was too big. We got two of each kind of rolled up. We have our solution again. We have a wipe. Instructions. Two fronts and two insides. Giving this wipe down one last time. And here we go again. I remember. Squirt our fingers first. And yes, I'm squirting the actual foam too. And now we'll remove this and line up our cameras. Now this is the sticky side. Don't be scared, this thing is water resistant, people. This is the finished product on the inside. It's not completely dry yet. We're gonna go around to the front. So now it's time for the front. I didn't mention anything too much about the back on that last screen protector because the back didn't show up too bad. The front, I had a couple air bubbles that never disappeared. Now I have both sides done. I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple hours to see if some of those streaks kind of leave like they did on the Z Flip. And I'll take some pictures tomorrow to show you what the finished finished product looks like and include them in the video. Three days later. Third time is a charm. So I probably should have just skipped over the past two screen protectors and saved myself some money and waited for the hydro gel to arrive. It's here. The second screen protector on the inside wasn't as bad as the first, although you can see that gap over there. It is still too big for this phone. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, which is what I tried to do. I tried to improvise until this hydro gel protector came in. So we have a squeegee. We have wet and dry wipes and we have dust removers, which I've always said with the real hydrogel, you don't need dust removers, but a lot of people are selling these bootlegs. Let's get into this uh, inside piece. I remember this is not the OEM because I wouldn't be snatching it off that quick if it was. I think I got it the best I'm gonna get it. Of course, your gap always sits in the middle until you take out the second piece. Though you want to get as many of those out as you can before you start. I also want to make sure it's not too far to the left or the right. So I'm going to go with piece two first.
Okay, I'm gonna start from the top edge since that seems to be easier and pull. And we're gonna have a couple bubbles, but it's not edge to edge and it's not too big. After a couple of days, I'll have the screen protector I've been wanting since I got this phone. Snap this closed and we're gonna do the hinge. The hinge looks kind of dirty. Okay, okay, I'm gonna replace the bag. I just can't resist since I'm already back here and it has a spot. I'm always wanting to make sure I'm not pulling the actual screen protector right back off the phone. And that looks better than the one on it before already. There's a couple air bubbles that should fall out, but this is as close to perfection as any piece I've put on here yet. Awesome. Glad I redid it. Shout out to the camera wobble. Don't like sitting my cameras on tables. Look at there. That just came out really good. No bubbles. The back, don't really have bubbles. We'll have a couple on the inside. I think we'll be gone tomorrow. But again, I mean, they're not like they're really bad now. I'd like to thank you for enduring this long video. I will post pictures and show you what these look like after the bead was done and everything dried. 24, 48 hours, people. Do not get the hydrogel screen protectors off of Amazon. I will connect you with my seller and put that in the description. You're gonna wait a week, maybe two weeks, but at least you know you're getting what you paid for. And when it's time to rock out with your case, it's gonna look good. And yes, you can put your case on even if you have bubbles, they should still come out. So third time's a charm. Thanks for all my subscribers. If you enjoyed the Z Fool 2 screen removal and replacement, if you've enjoyed this one, if you've enjoyed the flip, if you've enjoyed videos on this channel, you might wanna consider subscribing. Subscriptions are free. I do have memberships you might wanna join. I have two tiers of membership. Just click the link in the description about memberships or there should be a join button if you're on an Android device. I will catch you on the next video. Hola!